I am here with my friend Ernesto Dorsi from Brazil. Ernesto, I want to introduce you my colleague, Mr. Simon Fellow from Italy, that want to make you a few questions. Simon. Thank you, Fernando. Mr. Dorsi. Pleasure. You are, you are past president of WBF and now president of, of South American Bridge Federation. You manage a lot of championship, but you are also a player. Describe yourself uh, as a manager and as a player. As a manager, uh, as a matter of fact, I manager since the beginning of my bridge career. Because I started in the local club after in the Sao Paulo Federation, which is state federation Brazil. After I was president of the Brazilian Federation for 20 years. And uh, in the meantime, I started in the World Bridge Federation, where I am till now. And I, I have a lot of positions in the World Bridge Federation. Uh, as a player, I have to give up my uh, bridge career when I was president of the Brazilian Federation. I played very little. Now that uh, I'm retired from my normal work because together with the bridge administration I have, have to work to earn my life. So uh, now that I'm retired I start to play a little bridge again. That's it. That's the, the difference between my career of administrator and my career of bridge player. It's much more, much more administrator than bridge player. In your opinion, why Brazil doesn't have the same result of the past, the same good result of the past? Unfortunately, because we have a, a, a generation of, of bridge players of the high level, and this generation was of six or eight players, no more. They are becoming old. They are more or less of my age, and they. They now uh, are not the same, and in addition, the bridge has a big evolution. Bridge professional around the world grew uh, unbelievably quickly and uh, strongly, and uh, the Brazilians are not professional. It is impossible to make a way of living uh, out of bridge in Brazil. So. That's one reason. Second reason that we were unable to get more people, more young people uh, playing and through trying to play or trying to develop. We, we had a lot of young players during these years, but they, or they, they stopped playing or they did not develop as we would like them to do. Mr. Dorsey, in your opinion, what are the best MBOs in the world and for which reasons? Okay, this is not easy, but uh, my, my opinion, the Europeans, basically the French, the, the Netherlands, the Italian, uh, the Polish, the Art Federation, better organized and the federation that were successful in bringing young players to the to the game this uh, i think this federation of course the uh, american federation is it's uh, it's fantastic because they are able the american federation is able to organize uh, three tournaments in during the year and have all the best players of the year going there three times a year to play these tournaments, which are, are not uh, even close to the organization of the World Championships of technically and uh, organization, organizationally. Do you have any ideas to join young new, new bridge players? Uh, I think the, the program for the young, uh, youngsters from 8 to 14 that started in France and now is, uh, is being developed in a number of countries is one, one way to do it. Because you have to think that the people in the university are not uh, uh, interested in staying hours in a room 
playing cards. They have so many things to do, so so many uh, activities uh, that that's impossible to bring the people from the university to the the bridge room, to the bridge uh, table. So the best way is try to to inoculate the the poison between commons, the bridge poison in the youngsters and because later perhaps they will be back and they will form the 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 new the new generation of bridge players. And what do you think about bridge that is so different from the other mind sports game? Uh, I, once I, I saw a definition between, uh, there's two main reasons, but uh, I think this one is very interesting. The difference between bridge and chess. Uh, I tell you, I give you a chess, do you play chess? Some, sometimes. Okay. I give you a chess position, probably in the middle game, and I tell you, proceed, do you play the white? white uh, pieces, you proceed from here. And you proceed. You look, you see, and you proceed. Does mind what happened before. You have the position, you can proceed. Try to do it in bridge. In the middle of the play of the cards, you say, okay, proceed from now. You don't give the bidding, you don't give the f cards how they are played before. How can you proceed? Can you? I think I can't, because you have to remember everything when you play a board. Yes, uh, you don't know how the bidding was, you don't know how the first cards were played, so it's impossible. So, bridge is always an integration between the past, the present and the future. Other games normally are only the future, only the future interests. It's true. A characteristic is typical characteristic bridge between the difference between bridge and chess and uh, uh, draughts and uh, I don't know about Go but I, I know that Shanxi, which is the, the Chinese chess is always the same thing from the one point on you can proceed but second aspect is the bridge is extremely social because, because it requires a partner Ch chess is a is a game of one person and it's the more boring game of the world to watch because you watch a guy make a movement, you can go, have a lunch, come back and the other one is thinking. So in bridge, bridge is much more alive, much more social, it always is integration among at least four people in a table, on a table. Yo quiero hacer, hacerle una demanda más. Preguntarle qué sentiría ganar una copa que lleva su propio nombre. Creo que es lo único que le falta hacer en el bridge. Ganar la copa que lleva su propio nombre. Pregúntaselo. Sí. Oh, ok. I would love to, to, to win my, my cup. Uh, mainly because the trophy is beautiful. Uh, uh, and I hope this will happen. At least I, I think I can play bridge for the next uh, six, seven, eight years and I, perhaps I have a chance to, to win my cup. <laughs> yes, I would love to do that. Thank you very much, Ernesto. Obrigado. Obrigado.